According to The Athletic, the NBA Competition Committee is discussing the concept, concept of a mid-season tournament in the future, with the main incentive being a cash prize of a million dollars per player. Perk, now as a former player, do you think that that is enough money to get the player to buy into this mid-season tournament? Absolutely not. And look, I don't like the idea. Here's why. It's almost like an underground rapper, right? that has a solo album, a single, a hit single that went gold, and then all of a sudden he remixes it like the NBA did for us to play in tournament, adding like a Drake and he goes platinum. Now you're trying to do too much. Keep the tradition. Don't shake your head. To, uh, no, uh, I would just, I, I, you know what it was? Don't I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. I'm you I, right now. Kendrick, hey, Kendrick, I, Ladarius, Perkins, calm down. What I am trying to say <laughs> is that I just, I, you know what I was shaking your head? I was thinking like, I don't know how Zach is going to follow this up, but God bless him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, but listen, here's the thing. Like, we got to keep some type of tradition, all right? And like the 82-game season, okay, the play-in tournament at the end, yes, it's all good. But don't just water it down. Don't overkill the situation. No mid-season tournament. No, let it play out how it plays out. I love to play in. That's enough. Look, I'm willing to give this a chance because all of Adam Silver's wackadoo ideas, they seem to work. I'd give it a chance. But there are two reasons I've never been a big fan of this idea. Number one, it's not a basketball thing. It's a soccer thing. It has no tradition here. It has no meaning here. I'm not convinced that teams or fans are going to care about it. Number two, all the science, all of it, has said for years and years and years, 82 games is too many. We already tacked on a few for a bunch of teams in the play-in tournament. That's awesome. That's a hit. Let's keep it. Do we really need to get more? More games? More games for a tournament that maybe people aren't even care that much about? I'm open to the idea that over time, People will grow to love it. It'll get a cool name, and maybe it'll be at a neutral site for the finals. It'll get a little momentum, but it's more games. And as for the money, look, a million bucks to the average player, to the non-star player. I don't know, Perk. I mean, you can speak to it better than me, but the average player makes eight, nine million dollars a year in the NBA, or that's about the average player's salary. That's like 12% of that salary. If someone came to me and said, hey, play a couple games for 12% of your salary or whatever it is, I'd say maybe I would do it. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it's not. That's... Look, without getting into ridiculous amounts of money, that's not chump change. That's a real amount of money. But will this idea succeed? Eh, I'm not sold. Okay, look, there's so much to unpack here from both of you. Both of you guys <laughs> contradicted yourselves. You talked about, oh, well, you know, Perk, you first said, there's no tradition here. What are we doing? We just started the play-in game, and both of you talked about how you love the play-in series. So why not try, try and add something new? Why not create a new tradition? Maybe there is something there. Uh, well, you both don't, both of you can't be putting your one fingers up. I'll give you guys both an opportunity to talk. And secondly, the one, the one thing that I also want to discuss is that for players, that million dollars, every time you got that licensing check, Perk, now that was free money. We view that, like, we view that licensing check as free money. Guys would go and buy something. It's probably not the best thing to just give a 25-year-old a check. But that extra million dollars, I don't care who you are. If you're making 50, if you're a league minimum guy, a million dollars is nothing to scoff at. So I don't want to make it seem like that that money isn't going to change for a guy like well, Russell who's making 50 million dollars go ahead perk well well first of all how am I contradicting myself and see this is the problem that I have with you every time that you decide to put on the tie you come on you come on here with a whole different type of swagger I don't know you today <laughs> you're not RJ you are Richard so here's the problem that I have I did not contradict myself I said that I love the play-in tournament, but I said we have to we have to keep some type of tradition. That's all I said, Richard. I didn't say that, oh, I, the play-in tournament tradition. I said we have to keep some type of tradition. We seem like we're trying to change it all the way across the board. And by the way, we talking about how guys value money. You just said like a million dollars. You don't care if guys make this, they'll be in for making a million dollar incentive. Is we're not we're witnessing right now Ben Simmons talk about how he's willing to not go to training camp and possibly leave eight plus million dollars on the table. So what are we talking about right now? It's a different generation. You know that Richard, you know that Zach Lowe. It's not the same. We don't we value a dollar differently than this new generation of players. Well, okay, so really quickly, Zach, are you for it or against it? I'm against it. And let me tell you one thing, though, why, why I agree with Perk, which makes me uncomfortable that you're wrong and we're not contradicting ourselves. The play-in tournament 
is the stakes are something I understand. The stakes are playoff seeds to get into the NBA playoffs, a thing that I understand and I know. This midseason tournament is for something brand new. Do I care about it? Do I hang a banner for it? Does it mean anything when there's an actual NBA champion at the end of the season? I don't know. But the play-in tournament, I understand. It's new, but I'm playing for something old. Okay, that's fair. I, look, that point, like, I don't know what Perk was talking about. That point that you just make, Zach, there, I understand. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.